Well, Doppler radar is an amalgamation of many different weather systems which can track storms uh, pretty much uh, from 20 miles out until they're right on top of you. Now we'll get back to him. Doppler radar. <laughs> it does whatever Mr. Doppler ordered it to do. I know you use it during severe weather, so I am guessing that it helps measure the intensity of clouds and storms and where they are and where they're headed. Getting closer, Kevin. We asked the people we work with every day what they thought Doppler radar was, and, well, this is what we got. So I guess a little explanation for you is in order. This is a look inside the radome, and inside a two-story dish, constantly listening for weather. But this powerful tool can show us so much more than just rain, sleet, and snow. Doppler radar works by sending a high-frequency radio wave out in all directions. When that radio wave collides with precipitation, it's then bounced back toward the radar, only at a different frequency. This gives us an indication as to the motion of the storm. In fact, you've seen, or should I say heard, the Doppler effect before. Just listen. Did you hear that change in frequency? That's the Doppler effect. All right, so the image that you have on your screen now is something we call storm radial velocity. It gives us an idea as to the motion in the atmosphere, and this is actually from the Canadagua tornado from last summer, and the area of focus is right there in the middle. Now, what do these colors mean? Well, you have this rotation to the south in the red area running away from the radar, which is in this case to the left of your screen, and then the green goes back towards the radar. And that motion, right where those two colors meet, that's where we look for a rotating thunderstorm, or more importantly, the possibility of a tornado.